Hey you guys, it's Marissa again. Thanks so much for watching my design team project. Um, I think I posted it, oh gosh, I posted it this morning. And the blog post um, went live this morning as well. And I am doing another project next Friday, so look out for that. But I thought I would just show a few pages that I've done. I'm really look, um, looking, enjoying the Fobonichi as you can tell and I love that some of my friends are jumping on it or are attempting to jump on it so they need to hurry and I've you know just buying some things here and there so one of the things I wanted to show is actually none of these have to do with my Fobonichi but I have a little corner in a local Japanese store that's Daiso and I really want to get out to San Francisco but I'm a little afraid to go to the big Daiso store because I could think of so many things that I would think I would need for this book and I'm going to talk about bandwagon jumping at the end of this video but I want it to be quick so I was going to show you that um, you know, Joanne's spitting out the 60% off coupons and I'm really like seeing what everybody's picking up with it. And I want to show you what I got for my parents book for Santa Cruz because I shared that I bought the Bow Bunny collection, but I took that back. So kind of all over the place tonight. I just felt like making a video. Do you ever just feel like making one and you'll do whatever to start yapping on video? Well, that would be me. Uh, my friend Connie wanted to know... I forgot to show it and that's my fault. This is the coffee cup stamp that I used uh, for the ices and the iced coffee in my Fobonichi share for my design team. So it's by Stampabilities from Hobby Lobby $3.99. They're 40% off this week. So it's really cute. And I never thought to think of it as anything other than a coffee cup. I mean, I made it into an icy cup pretty darn good so that is what it is in case you guys were wondering <clears throat> so let's just do the haul real quick and then I'll show so you can kind of fast forward this I guess or should I do it the other way around oh well doesn't matter this I uh, did not need this so this may go in something future that I'm going to do um, this is another Tuesday morning find and I never buy calendar stamps ever because I don't need them but I was like, oh, this would be good in the Fobonichi. So, oh, uh, am I doing it? Am I buying things I don't need? Not if I gift this to somebody or rack it, then it wasn't for nothing. So anyways, that was the thing I got. So from Daiso, my local Daiso, actually I pulled this out from my mixed media area. This is from Daiso. This is not gonna show me anything, but it's just your basic like ruler. I got this for my planner. But this would be good. Does anybody else use these in their journals? I don't know, like to draw shapes and all kinds of things. So I pulled it out from my mixed media area. But that's from Daiso. I um, got this three pack of liquid glue. It's the kind that has like this little rolly top here. I don't know if these are very good, but I gave one of them to Mila. She actually started doing this um, daily journaling as well with me. And I love it. We go up into my room and we both do it together. And so I'm going to put one of these in her little um, bag of stuff that she has. And then I picked up these because I thought, the, I've never seen, these are just, you know, regular old highlighters, but they're double tipped or twin tipped, no, double fluorescent, which I'm sure you can get anywhere. They're not anything new, but first, I mean, for $1.50, you get all those colors. I use highlighters a lot in my planner. So it has, I've never seen a highlighter with that point on it. I thought that was good or neat. Yeah. Oops. Ah, and that too. So I don't know. Maybe I could use it in the old faux. Can we call it something else? Cause faux beneath, it's such a long word to say. And then I got one of these Kiritake, what sounds like shirataki and shiitake pens. And there's like four different, um, nibs if that's what they're called this is the extra fine but doesn't look very extra fine to me well i guess it does gosh i don't know i thought i would try it in the um i thought i'd try it in my in my journal i'm just gonna call it journal okay now as far as 60 percent off you guys show me what you got like does any of you feel like because you have that coupon you have to buy something this is where i have a weakness i just do so this was like 
six bucks. <laughs> When do I use cloud punches? But again, I just, I've been using a lot of outside scenes in my journal, so I thought this would be neat to, you know, and plus in mixed media and a project life. So I used one of the 60s on this. I had like three 60s and two 50s. I don't know. And then I got <clears throat> one of these water brushes, another one of them to put in my, um, my bag for my journal. So I don't have to go back and forth. This was really dumb. I thought, oh, this is so different than the one I have at Michael's, but it's not. And this is actually more expensive than the one at Michael's. I did use a 60 off on it, but it has the same exact amount of watercolor colors. So that was a fail because this was $6.50 at Joann's and these are $4.99 at Michael's. I don't want to invest in really expensive watercoloring um, for that. I haven't even tried it in my journal yet so I just used it on that and then I did not know that Fiskars had stencils and they're like where the well where the punches are so in this one I loved this pattern it's called native arrows so you get this eight and a half by eleven and then you also get a six by six so I used it was six ninety nine so I used my sixty so it was like two thirty nine or something but what's cool about them is if you want to make a really long pattern they have these I mean I didn't know this they have these crosses here so inside these you would you know like make a mark and then you could move your stencil over and so it would be a nice continuous pattern so I thought these would be fun to do in the in one of my pages in the journal and then also in mixed media so you got two two for two bucks is pretty good um, and then this is what I decided to do I brought back the bow bunny for my parents album I'm making one for my dad and one for my mom and the papers are half off. I'm still not huge. Um, I'm not a, really, I don't use a lot of authentic anymore. I did a long time ago. But I like these colors. Just the navy blue and the pops of the light blue and the gray and the red or coral. So I think it's like a C, oh, seaside. So it's only five bucks. And I'm not going to have like a whole bunch left over that I feel like I have to do something with it. You know, like it would be a waste. So it just has these papers. And then... I mean, it kind of sucks, but you only get one sticker sheet. They had so many other kind of like cheesy beachy things, but it came with a whole bunch of embellishments. The cutter part will be fun too. Um, it's a weird book that I'm using, you'll see. So I got that and then all of their stickers, I went like on a perfect day. Um, I don't uh, buy a lot of themey stuff, so it was kind of hard to pick this stuff. I was being like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like, I don't know, but it, it has to, it's like, Santa Cruz, you know? Oh, I don't know. So I got that one, and then this I thought matched pretty good, and it's just a, a lot of family sayings. And I got something else. Where the heck is it? It was a fishing one I got, because we went fishing. Ugh. I don't know where it is. Um, and then this is like thick chipboard. Just a lot of, again, family sayings, and it was off-white, so it went. I don't know why I got this. I will probably rack this after I use it, but it's just a little teeny Prima stamp, but you know, it's going to be perfect. So I got that and it was only like $1.19. And then I got for 50 cents, some of this jute, um, oh, burlap or jute ribbon to put in it. Cause I thought that was kind of beachy. And then, oh my gosh, you guys. So this is the way people are with Copics. I guess you like get all the colors well here's my prisma colors these are the ones I paid they're they're 24 I paid I forgot what I paid for them but it's the scholar so I think it's like the lowest prisma color but they work really good but then I saw that Hobby Lobby sells them separate so I think these are like the nice ones prisma color premieres so I got these three colors because I don't have them Oh my gosh, you guys, I can totally see me just like going crazy. But you know what? In my defense, these are only $1.99. Not that there's anything wrong with buying Copics because you guys are awesome with coloring. If, if I enjoyed that and if I was good at it, I would totally buy those. But I'm not. So I'm going to stick to these $1.99 pencils. But oh man, you guys, I can see this becoming a problem. So... I thought, you know what, maybe every time I go to Hobby Lobby, I'll be allowed to buy a $1.99 pencil, but anyways, all right, here we go. I say anyways a lot. So I showed this page, I'll go quick, see if we, no, we can't keep another 10. This is the one I showed last time, um, and then this is the next page. This was our um, family reunion for my Greek side, so I, I, you know, colored, I really like the way this came out. 
like the Greek flag in the background. This was, I don't think I showed this to you guys. I hope not. Um, this list just got a list was describe your dream job. And this is supposed to be, you know, a puzzle, uh, light it up blue, kind of, you know, blue. I didn't do the, um, rainbow autism puzzle, but, um, my dream is to work with kids with special needs, but you know, I'm going to be 40 and I'm just not, it's too late to go back to school and I worked in the medical field for seven years before I decided to stay home and uh, I don't you know I'm not gonna go back so I kind of feel like I had my chance it was my husband's turn and now you know he'll be the one retiring in his career so anyways I had this like dollar stamp from Joann's and I just kind of did all these little cousin brother so these are just the cousins these are not all of them but from our side of the family these are the only ones that came so most of these are my kids and then these are the girls. We, yeah, definitely way more. There's like three boys missing, I think. So fun together, Opa, and just writing about it. And it just was so much fun. And I love the way that page turned out. And then here is the one that I did my design team on. And then here's this one. So I'll just go real quick. This was National Monuments I want to visit. So I just... I don't know if Arlington Cemetery is a national monument, but that's where I would like to visit. So I think this day was just, I was filming YouTube videos, went to the park. I didn't really know. I didn't want to draw like a playground or anything. So I just looked up whimsical trees <laughs> on the internet and like came up with these. I don't know. You know, I tried to do some blending here, but it didn't really work. But um, see how nice, like, the coloring looks? Well, it doesn't look that good here, but I swear it, does. it is. I swear it is. It just looks smooth. I drew this book. I'm so proud of myself. I drew that book just showing that I worked in my Fobonichi. Um, I think this is an Amy Tan washi tape sticker. This is a Studio Calico stamp. And then this is the Amy Tangerine little acorn too. So just saying that um, I'm obsessed with my kids like I'm sure every parent is and I love when they're off track and I'm not that type. It's like, I mean, I am that type. Believe me. We have like two and a half months off for Christmas and at the end I'm like, get out of my face, like go back to school. But I love when my kids are home. I cherish every single minute of it. I am sad when they have to go back. So I just wrote about that. And this was my first Happy Meal from the Ink Road, so I just kind of did uh, took a little bit of a business card, and yeah, that's it. I don't know what was going on. I was trying to be all fancy. So it gets to be it was seventy nine on the fifteenth. Yeah, I know I'm kind of behind. I knew this was going to happen, but it's okay. I have a little sticky note. I um I th her name is Felicia. I forgot her name. She started this Fobonichi Facebook group. I love her videos and I love her. I, this is where I saw the washi tape done. Um, but anyways, she, oh my goodness. What was I just going to say? I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, but 79 degrees. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with this. Oh my goodness. What was I saying? I can't remember. So I'm not really big on this, but I've got to finish. So yeah, I'm, I, oh, that's it. She had put sticky notes on the pages, you know, just so she can go back and remember what they did that day. This I like, but it is starting to curve a little bit like in this way. So it's kind of hard to write. You can see it's kind of like, it's hard to explain, but um, I'm going to try to do it. I gave it a break and then maybe I'll do some later. So let me know, um, you know, if you guys want to continue seeing my shares, I am going to turn 40 on September 30th. I'm not happy about it, but then, you know, I'm not crying over it. I had surgery for cancer on the day I th turned 39. So this whole year from there has been really hard. And I'm hoping that from 40 on, I will be healthier and I'll be happy and all that good stuff. And I want to celebrate with you guys somehow. So I'm thinking of a little something and it might be kind, might be an all day event that I would like to have on my birthday with, try to, you know, interact with you guys somehow. If not, I might do a challenge kind of birthday thing that will actually is going to let me hear something from you guys that I want to hear. Not happy birthday, but you'll see. And um, 
What was the other thing? Oh, I'm almost at 1,700 subscribers. And I kind of want to do a challenge, too, about bandwagon jumping, because I know that a lot of us do it, you know, whether, I mean, which isn't bad, because we're exposing ourselves to new things, but some of us, myself included, get so into it, we buy everything for it, we don't do anything. So I think it'd be fun to, like, all right, you have to, like, I'm putting you out there, you have to show what you bandwagon jumped on what bandwagon you jumped on, excuse me, and you got to make something from it. I don't know. Would that be fun? Like, let's use our stuff. Remember when I scrap our stash challenge? Uh, totally. I stopped doing that, but all right. That was just a whole bunch of rambling. So in the next couple of weeks, there's going to be some videos and some information coming up because I want to celebrate with my YouTube peeps. Okay. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.